From Hollywood, California, the Lux Radio Theater presents W.C. Fields and Ann Shirley in Poppy. Step right up, gentlemen, the fascinating scientific game, final little I move shells around the table, so final little pee and you win. Two'll get you four, four'll get you eight. Boy, can play as well as a man, it's the old army came. Thirty cents says I can find the ball. Ah, the gentleman bets thirty cents. Plunger, take a choice. I say, let me see, it's under, mm, the middle one. Left it up, see. No, nope, it ain't. And by living free. I thought you had me that time. I fooled myself. Here's your 30 cents. Thank you. Who'll be the next to out with me? The classic game is in the way of form of gambling. Hey. Game of hey. fine. Here comes the mayor. Yeah. What's that? The mayor, he's coming over here. Ah, oh, yes, my friends. I see him now. Yes, my friends. Gambling is the root of all evil. And how well I know. Get those rid of those shells. Get them out of here. For years, I was a victim of this horrible scourge, an unwilling pawn, caught in the toils of Beelzebub. Let it be a real little lesson to you. Lead us in song, Sister Wolfinger. Excuse me, sir. May I shake your hand, please? Uh, of course, of course, for sure. We need more men of your kind in these traveling carnivals, sir. Men with a real message. Huh? Men of steel. Steel, sir? Oh, I think, yes, you're right. Pardon me. Uh, permit me to introduce myself. I'm Mayor Farnsworth. Mayor, Your Honor, this is a surprise indeed. I am Dr. Eustace P. McGargle, F-A-S-N. Well, yeah, go right ahead with the lecture, Doctor. Sorry, I just finished. Half a ticket go. Are you remaining on the grounds all afternoon? No, no, I'm leaving at 4.30. How unfortunate. My next lecture won't start until about 4.32. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Dr. McGargle, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Tubbs. How do you do, Doctor? Mrs. Tubbs is one of our town's most solid citizens. Ah, uh, she looks at I mean, uh, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> I heard part of your talk, Doctor, and I think it was just thrilling. I wish you'd come and call on me sometime. Oh, I'd be delighted. Oh, thank you. Shall we go on, Mayor? Oh, uh, wait, sir. I want you to meet Dr. McGargle also. Uh, Dr. McGargle, this is Mrs. Sarah Brown. How do you do? How do you do? Mrs. Brown is a great moral leader in our community. Ah, oh, woman after my own heart. I hope not. <laughs> very good, very good, Sarah. Shall we go? Uh, yes. Uh, well, good night, Doctor, and good luck. Oh, thank you, thank you, man. Keep up the good work. Ah, uh, thank you. Scarcely have left the ground before I shall be hard at it again. Good night, Doctor. <laughs> Don't forget. You're going to take me round the farm, isn't it? Oh, I'll take you, yes. You bet I will. She's uh, all dressed up like a well-kept grave. Ten cents says I can guess what shell is under. You still here? Go away. My name's Whippin. What a pretty name. Go away, you draw flies. Well, gee whiz, all right. Wait a minute. Who is that fat lady with just here? That's Mrs. Tubbs. She's a widow. Kind of dumb, I always thought. I just wanted to check on my judgment. Good day, Miss Whippen. Of course, she's uh, pretty rich. Who's rich? Mrs. Tubbs. Got her hands on most of the money in this town. It ain't so. Yep, it was left to her in a wheel. In a wheel, eh? Yep, second cousin or something left it to her in a wheel. That's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting. Widow, eh? Yep. Widow. Yeah. You, uh, thinking of something? Yes, yes, I was, oh. yes. As an old blind aunt of mine used to say, where there's a will, there's prosperity just around the corner. Dropping, 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 hear those pennies fall. Everyone's for the professor. He will get them all and more, too. What's the matter here? Everybody's dead? Ah, good evening, Mademoiselle Shrub. Why, Dr. McCardle, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, come in, please. Thank you. 
Really? Oh, go right in the parlor, Dr. McCargo. Welcome to my modest little cottage. Oh, quite a charming lean-to you have here. <laughs> Reminds me of my wiki up on the Magogo River. Tributary to Lake Titicaca. Would you sit down, please? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I hope you'll pardon my intruding at this hour, Mrs. Plum. Tub. Tub. Tub, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ah, well, I came on a mission of utmost delicacy. Oh, uh, something to do with charity, no doubt. Well, yes and no and no. Nevertheless, uh, I'm ashamed to come empty-handed. I had fully intended to bring you a basket of hollyhocks. But I couldn't uh, steal a buy up um, They're out of season. I didn't want to bring you canned hollyhocks. <laughs> Oh, of course, I understand. Let me take your hand. Oh, no trouble. I'll put it right here. Oh! Oh, what a clumsy Japanese I am. I'm afraid I've broken your lovely bar. Oh, it's all right. It's just some of the water spilling on the family all. Now, here, let me dry it off. Oh, water fades pictures, so it's horrid. Oh. Uh, do you like water? A little on the side. Oh, I mean, um... <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. I'll dry it. Oh, oh! Ah, the pages, uh, this one's loose. It just came out right by hand. <laughs> oh, well, it really doesn't matter. Oh, you're too kind, Mrs. Dub. I shall take this picture along with me and have a new print made the first opportunity. Oh, but you really don't have to. Oh, say no more, dismiss it. It's good as done. <laughs> oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> oh, I'm rather proud of my album, you know. As such an old family. Yes, so I see. <laughs> Are you interested in family albums, they Dr. McCarthy? They are the fondest things I am of. Uh. <laughs> there are some very interesting things in this one. I'm sure. Well, 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 well. John L. Sullivan. Oh, no, no. This is my old Aunt Anna. Isn't she sweet? Oh. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's very quaint. What biceps. What a teaser. <laughs> Oh, this, this, perhaps, I... look, 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 this one here, the man with the beard. What's that? Well, of all things, if it isn't Cockeyed Mulligan. <laughs> I don't know who Mr. Cockeyed Mulligan is, Dr. Oh. McCarthy, but this is a picture of my husband. Oh, oh is that so? Oh, what a fine-looking old codger he is, too. I hope you pardon the mistake, Mrs. Dub. I confused him with a man who used to work with me. He uh, worked for me, rather, in the silver mine, gold and platinum mines I had up at Cohen's Gulf. What? The old Mulligan, the old stew. Finest fellow who ever lived. He hung before his time. He died before his time. Died young. Oh, oh uh, did you say you own gold and platinum mines? Oh, did I? Yes, it might have slipped out. Oh, well, time. that's very interesting. Yeah, I always thought so myself. That's one of the things that brought me here tonight. Really? Yeah. Mrs. Nubs. <laughs> well, a man has spent his life hard work. Did I ever tell you the story of how Mulligan and I pardoned here? <laughs> Dove off an escarpment of frigid ice into the Winnemucca River. Each with a canoe under his arm. Oh, how brave. When we approached the opposite shore, we were confronted by 10, uh, 20, uh, 30, 50,000 Skagway Indians. Oh. There they stood with their tomahawks raised high above their heads. Oh. Mulligan and I unsheathed our bowie knives and cut a path through this wall of human flesh, <laughs> dragging our canoes behind us. Oh, marvelous. Well, marvelous. anyway, uh, nothing really. When a man has amassed his share of this world's goods, his heart turns to things of a more spiritual nature. He dreams of peace and security and a mellow old age. In the company of... Yes. The woman I love. Oh, Dr. McCargo. Mrs. Trump, has anyone told, ever told you you were beautiful? Well, uh, yes. <laughs> I knew they had. <laughs> I knew they'd beat me to it. I knew it. Oh, no, no, but wait. Before you go any further, Doctor, I think I ought to tell you. Yeah. I shall never marry again. Oh, you won't, eh? <laughs> After leading me on. What? You can't take a man's heart and tear it to shreds. Why? Making me look like a knave in the eyes of the world. Oh. 
Me with a grown daughter? Oh, the Why, to... it's a clear case of breach of promise. What? Women, I... women, women. A mere oh. pawn in the clutches of an adventurer. Oh, the idea. Oh, Dr. McCardle, I... Oh. 